Hey y'all, so today in true Halloween fashion, we are going trick-or-treating. So today we are in trick-or-treat town. If you guys are new here, welcome. I am Shy in Second Life and it is definitely a vibe on this side. On this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Y'all, I am so excited to walk around this land. Look at all of the skeletons. So the way that this land works is all of the doors, when you walk up to all of the doors, you knock on the door and it gives you candy. You guys, I'm super excited about this and the houses are, they, they have the houses um, participating in like a house decorating contest, super cute. So I'm so excited to see like all the little different decorations and all of the houses. Y'all, this is the last day of October, y'all. I hope y'all really, really enjoyed it. I have thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. So look, this is decorating contest participant number five i have also enjoyed um blocktober so let me show y'all my outfit for today i was waiting to get into some light so i'm poo y'all y'all see this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. super cute right yeah y'all so i have i actually have look at this house super pretty I have so, well not so many, but I have a couple more costumes that I'm like, you know, these next couple of videos after this video, um, it's going to be some costumes because I still got costumes to wear. You know, I figured even though we'll be in November, it'll be the beginning of you know november so i could still do a costume or two nothing i have is like gory so it'll just be like an outfit per se not so much like a halloween costume we'll look at it like that so they have houses on both sides i'm not gonna be knocking on any doors because to be totally honest i really just wanted to look at the houses with y'all because it was given like like when houses are decorated for like Christmas and stuff like that. So I thought it was going to be super cute to just like look at the houses and stuff. And because I hide my interface, if I look at this, this is actually giving me like Christmas vibes. Because I, hi I hide my interface on um, for Second Life, even if I click on a door, it'll give me something. But I won't be able to see it until I unhide my interface. So this neighborhood has many different blocks and all the different blocks are highly decorated with all different types of things. Some of them, as we saw, were like a little bit more happy, you know, a little bit more colorful. And then you got this over here that's giving very much so like zombie-ish. This is not even zombie-ish. This is very much like zombie so this is really really highly decorated and i do love that not the little kid so this place has two levels so when you come here um in the main area they're gonna have like all of these boards and stuff that like gives you a lot of different information on the things that's on the land so we are on the main level they have a second level that has like um, mazes and stuff like that it has they have like different rides and things like that i'm not sure if we'll get to see them today but we might i might just make sure that i'm not spending all the time on this level but y'all know how I feel about decorated houses. So I'm going to do my best not to get too, too sidetracked with this. But yeah, so guys, I have been really, really enjoying Vlogtober. And it has been such an eye-opening adventure. To be able to share with y'all, I learned so much about myself when it comes to like recording and things like that. Also, when it comes to staying on task, you know, and just making sure that I'm ahead of the game and not falling behind I did not there was not one time y'all not one time y'all be very very proud of me there was not one time that I I think we saw this on another land when we was a little kid where I did a video the day of April Diamonds Baby, I was doing videos the day of, very, very far behind, very, very behind with it. This time, not even once, not even once. So I'm really, really proud of myself with this. So right now it is 12.31 a.m. So it is the 31st. However, however, I, I don't go to sleep 
this early no way you know insomnia be you know doing his doing his uh thug dizzle with me so i don't be sleep around this time anyway so this works out and then technically it's halloween so although i am kind of doing this video the day of it's not like the afternoon the day of look at this house i love this i love that they have like this whole like neighborhood theme here because this, this is not actually like a neighborhood they made it up to look like a neighborhood now they do have some lands that are participating in trick-or-treating and they are an actual neighborhood where residents actually reside there but this um land has just been decorated um like a neighborhood and i love it i love that they let um you can interact with every single door and you can get things from every single door so look at the the neighborhood y'all little trick-or-treat town in the back so I really do like that. They make it very interactive. This place will be awesome for kids to go to because it's not um, thus far. It's not super spooky and stuff like that. We haven't run into any jump scares or anything like that. You know, it's just decorated houses and you can just go up and get you some candy. So initially I have found a nice ride that I had wanted to take us on, but it was not very halloweenish now this was one of those rides where i was like i really kind of need to get on the ride to see what's going on with it because it wasn't really given halloween and i didn't know if that was just kind of like a disguise because we did go on one ride where it didn't start off all spooky but then it got spooky like into the ride this one it had like a little bit of ele uh, element of spook but the majority of it was not spooky at all and i was just like no they got some hot cider here i was like this would be a nice video for any other time but not necessarily for blocktober and then i thought to myself i said it's gonna be halloween we can go trick-or-treating we can go trick-or-treating and so then i found this place this place was not even on my list of places to go now initially i did have a list of places that i was you know that i wanted to show you guys and i actually showed y'all all of the places that i wanted to show y'all and then i had actually found like some little extra ones that i substituted some of them out for because i felt like okay well that was a better fit and so i'm really really proud of myself about that but this place i did not even know existed until a little bit before i actually decided to do the video oh this is like a whole little spooky looney tunes type vibe and so it's super nice it's super nice this is going to be an amazing place for kids to go to i know back in the day you know when i used to do my whole little halloween ones to buckle my shoe um they used to do like really nice halloween parties and stuff like that they used to have like a like a block party type halloween party where all the people come to the land it would be like outside just like this and they would have like a party in the streets and it would be really really nice they would have like haunted houses and stuff like that that you can go into like if you didn't want to not they got a little trunk or treat look at this it's almost some free candy they petty for that um they would have like a little they, like you can go into haunted houses and things like that like if you wanted to dip off from the party it was really really nice everybody dressed up the dj was everything it was so super nice but i don't really know if they do that still i wouldn't i would imagine that they do still do it i just don't do the parties no more and you know what it's funny because i just was like yeah no nah, i don't want to do that no more sometimes i think about like checking out a party and stuff like that he looked super creepy but my whole thing is i won't be able to listen to the music because a lot of the music is just like you know music that you would hear on the radio and stuff like that and so i'm like i don't want to get copywritten and that's what will happen i would get a copyright strike so that is like a really big reason as to why I don't go to parties and stuff like that. But then I'm like, well, maybe I could go to the party just so y'all can kind of get like the ambiance of it to really see like people, people do hang out with each other in Second Life. I know it don't seem like that. We'll be going these tours and it don't really be nobody on the land. I tell you what, people do like to go out and party though. People do like to go out and party. This house is super busy. So although we go to these lands and there won't be a lot of people on these lands, sometimes, sometimes, um, they be at the parties. 
they be at the parties, y'all, living it up. Like having them a good old time at these parties. When I tell you, this is the type of stuff, I don't think that they had any neighborhoods that were like decorated for Christmas like this. I really, I, I want to think that I just like missed out on it. But I hope that they do like have, you know, in real life they'll have like little houses, like neighborhoods you can go down and like all the houses are like really, really highly decorated. They do that in Chicago. I don't know about no place else, but I would imagine so. Even if you don't get snow, you know, Christmas is still Christmas time. Um, and if you celebrate it, then you might could find a neighborhood that does as well. Look at this whole Beetlejuice house. Just to be able to see the different decorations and see the lights and things like this. I think that that would be super dope. So this seems to be on day one. I mean, no shade. I mean, listen, we saw some we saw some pretty nice ones, but I guess, you know, I'm not doing the judging. So this is the this is the winner. You know, the second life beta juice. OK, you know, listen, hey, who are me to judge? But I do hope that they have like some decorated houses and stuff like that um, for Christmas time, because they really did it big on this land for uh, Halloween. So I think think we done been down enough blocks i want to see what's on the other level so yeah i was on my way to see how i get to the other level but i saw this ride y'all want to get on this ride okay 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 let's see what this ride hitting on okay y'all so we on the ride you know put me in mouse look let's see what this ride hitting on oh okay this is cute a cute little it's giving like amusement park, scary rat, adorable. I think because we went on rides that was like super doing the most, this has really like prepared me for other rides. This is cute, okay. I'm not mad at this at all, not mad at this at all, y'all so so happy for all of our newcomers to the channel welcome welcome to all of the new supporters that have decided to join the journey i really really appreciate y'all for wanting to come and support me and enjoying the, the videos enjoying the tours y'all because i'm gonna keep them coming yeah loving it but when i tell y'all this vlogtober went by super quick it went by super duper quick Okay, this is cute in here. I'm not getting a yai. This is cute. And I also feel like this wouldn't be bad for kids. I don't feel like this would like freak kids out. Not too much. Okay, y'all. So we are on level two. And this is not given that. Yeah, I'm like, this not giving that real like cute, playful type feel. Okay, so this may be not so much for kids. This, this may be not so much for the babies what is going on here okay so when you come here they do give you like a whole can i walk through here they do give you like a whole thing on like where your shared environment should be and stuff like that oh see here we go with the bullshit okay oh no uh-uh this is still giving you know what i think uh-uh i don't like all this i don't like that i don't like that that made me feel some type of way i do feel like because we've seen so many like horrific okay because why would you ever want to ruin my outfit like this because we've seen so many like horrific things i'm really not too moved by what's here and i like that i do like that because i feel like although there are some aspects here that are just kind of like yeah this wouldn't be for kids i do think that this is a really cute place to come to with like your little boo thing or your friends of course or something like that to just kind of like enjoy the halloween without being like scared out of your mind so it is a lot of stuff on this land what's in here can i go in here oh what is this what the hell? Uh-uh, girl. So I like that they have like little things that you can click on and you can kind of just be nosy 
and you you gonna you gonna find a little shum shum might not be necessarily shum you looking for but you gonna find shum i love this little horsey i'm getting a chair so you can get on a horse maybe take a picture so what's up here uh-uh get your ass back get back jack what's up in here so this is like a little cemetery this is cute i'm not mad at this land at all i really like like i i really like how on the um lower level like on level they, they say level one level two on level one is very like pg very like come trick-or-treat you know bring your family it's gonna be super cute and then on level two it's like but if you don't got no kids and you just want to do something with your partner just come here have y'all a little cute little fright this is gonna be the place for y'all to come to i do like that they have it separated so that you don't kind of just like pop up on it by accident it's like yeah, you intentionally came here because this place is geared more for adults as opposed to like the babies in here if you got kids in second life yeah this ain't don't take them to level two so we back down to level one because level two, it was a lot going on there. I actually kind of thought it was going to be like a continuation of this level. But, you know, a little unexpected gore ain't never really hurt nobody. So, yeah, y'all, I have really enjoyed um, spending Vlogtober with y'all. And I hope y'all have enjoyed it as well. I'm going to be taking the remainder of the week off, you guys. So I will see y'all next week on our regular schedule.